Hi. In this video, I want to talk about a tool that I've been using for several years now, WordTune. WordTune describes itself as your personal writing companion that paraphrases and rewrites any text. And I think that describes it really well. I actually started using WordTune because I needed help with my tweets. My tweets were oftentimes too long. I have a lot to say, and I'm not the most concise writer. And one of the features that WordTune has is called Shorten. And so for obvious reasons, that was exactly what I was looking for. But what I love about WordTune and what I'll show is that it doesn't just do what many other of these editors in the space do and rewrite your sentence or give you just a new sentence. It actually presents you with different options. And that's been key for me because it presents me with different ways that I could rewrite or paraphrase my text. And so I'm able to kind of pick and choose and put together what I want to write something in a way that really conveys my personal style and tone. So it keeps my voice while helping me out. Instead of me spending so long working on a tweet and revising it to make it fit within a character limit, I was able to get a little bit of help. And so that's where I see WordTune coming in for personal productivity. I'm an educator to work with students. I think it's just a really great tool in being that companion by your side that's helping you out instead of something that is rewriting things entirely for you. Now, that being said, WordTune has come out with more features pretty recently where it does auto write for you. There's a really cool feature called spices that I'm going to definitely demo here. It allows you to expand on something that you've written. It actually does some statistics and research behind the scenes and it gives you a link even to where it's finding that source. It gives an example. There are a lot of things that spices does and an even newer feature drafts a blog post or tweet for you just given an initial prompt and then you can work on revising that in the word tune editor so let's dive in to the video where i'm going to demo a couple of things i'm going to be showing the word tune editor and i'm also going to be showing the word tune chrome extension that you can use on any website you're on so you can use it on twitter like i was saying you can use it on linkedin you can use it in your email and it's going to really help you out so let's hop on over to WordTune. Okay, so this is WordTune. You can get started for free. If you wanna just get a taste of what WordTune can do for you without actually creating an account, you can test it out right here and try the rewrite feature. Now there's a lot more you can do than just the rewrite feature, but that can give you a taste of what's possible without even creating an account. So you can see here what I was describing that I love is that it doesn't just rewrite it, but it gives you some options and it highlights what things that it has changed from your text. We're gonna talk more about that because that's really why I think it's so powerful. Now, if you scroll down, you'll see that there are some add-ins that you can install, but the only thing that I've really installed is the Chrome extension. I think that's essential because then that allows you to use WordTune on any website that you're on. So I said Twitter was where I started using WordTune. So why don't we just start in Twitter? So you'll see that I have this little WordTune icon right here once I've installed the extension. So let's just say I love WordTune. Let's now click on it or you can use Command D to rewrite. And here you'll see some basic rewrites. You also have the option to make the tone more casual you can make it more formal. And then my favorite is usually shorten in Twitter. So that would help you shorten. Mine's already really short, so I don't know how it could possibly be shorter. Word two. For this one, maybe I want to expand. So let's see what that looks like. So you can see it really uses my own words. The results it gives you are very natural. And if we look at 
a different tweet. So here's a rather long tweet that I was going to send. So now if I use rewrite on this, you'll see how helpful the rewrite is in just highlighting the words that it's changed. So everything that is in black is original text that I had. And so it just really calls out what it's changed. I really use that to look at keywords. And then I usually mix and match between different suggestions because, you know, maybe I use what a pleasure all the time in my writing and here it just says I'm delighted and I hadn't thought of that. So maybe I don't want to use exactly what they recommended, but I want to use just that phrase I'm delighted. So I really love how it highlights in purple. Now let's go ahead and use the shorten because I told you that was one of the things that I use the most. You'll see that these just make what I've written a bit more concise. Some of them a lot more concise, but also without really losing context. So like this one, for example, really preserved most of what I was trying to get across in many, many less words. Okay. So now the other thing you can do is sometimes you're looking for a synonym. So you just want another word for pleasure, for example. So if you use rewrite on just a word, it gives you a context specific synonym. So that's really helpful. It's not just other words that you could use for pleasure, but these are really words that fit the context. A thesaurus on steroids. If you accidentally just chose a word, you can go over here and rewrite the entire sentence like that. You can just rewrite the selection or just the word. So you can toggle between things right here. Now, I've clicked around a lot. Before I go any further, I do want to mention what the pricing is so you can know that for free you can do 10 rewrites per day. Every time I clicked on one of those features, it was a new rewrite. So if I expand, if I shorten, each of those is a new rewrite. Each sentence counts as a rewrite. Just keep that in mind. You only get 10 per day, but if I just am writing a tweet and I just need it shortened, one rewrite might be all that I need. And that shorten and expand is included for free. Now it doesn't allow you to do a paragraph rewrite, but it does allow you to go sentence by sentence. Again, if you're going sentence by sentence on something long, that's where the free plan's not really gonna work for you. But if you are just looking for some help, like I was doing on Twitter, I was using the free plan for a long time and I used it all the time. I am on a premium plan right now and that is what I'm demoing. Before you feel super limited by 10 rewrites per day, let me show you some other things that you can do for free in the editor. So if you're in the editor, so you go to WordTune, hopefully you've already added the Chrome extension, you would just go to the editor, which is at app.wordtune.com. So here I was just messing around and saying why I love WordTune so much. How I actually started this was, let me get rid of this, and you'll see you can use this feature, which is their draft feature, ask WordTune to write. So let's have it do a blog post, and what do I want it to write about? Why WordTune is the ideal tool for writers. Then you can look at it, you can preview it. If you like it, you can accept it. If you don't, you can regenerate it. This is a free feature. And this doesn't actually count towards your 10 per day. I'm assuming that it won't be free forever, but for now it is, and it's pretty wonderful. So that's how you can get started with writing something. You'll see that you have some basic rich text features here that you can use to get writing. Just like I was showing before, if you double click on a word, you can rewrite it. And those tools are up here too. But one more thing, there's spices. Let's highlight WordTune is the ideal tool for you and add spices. So this can help you continue writing. So say that you're writing, you get a little bit blocked, continue writing, would read the context of what you had already written and add on to that. So it gives you another sentence like this so that it can just help your process. Again, this is where I see it as a real writing companion. So if I go back to list, I can also have it explain something to me. So what is WordTune? So now you'll see that it really gives me more context about what WordTune is here. Let's go back to the list expand on, give an example, give it a counter argument, define, give an analogy. The statistical facts is really cool. 
So here it chose to tell me some pricing information. But what I love about those statistical facts is that it actually says where it got that information from and it provides a link to that. So that's really nice. So you can fact check, you can look at where these sources are coming from. Let's go back to the list. Make a joke is just some fun comic relief. <laughs> some of them are pretty clever. All right, let's go back and another one. Okay, there's my comic relief for this video. Let's go back. Um, we were at Make a Joke. There's also historical facts, nature fact, inspiring quote. So with the inspirational quote, it does, again, read the context of what you've written and give you an appropriate thing to add in that would supplement the text that you're writing about. So that's spices. There's a lot you can do with spices, and that is free for now at least, absolutely free. You don't have a limit on how many of those you can run. Let me accept this. Spices does not work just with the Chrome extension. That's why when I was writing this tweet, that was why you didn't see that as an option. You only saw rewrite, casual, formal, shorten, and expand. Go over to the editor if you want that edition of spices or drafts. Speaking of being available anywhere on the web, I should take you over to Google Docs because I use Google Docs quite a bit for my writing. So you don't have to just be in the WordTune editor. You can also in Google Docs use all of this functionality when you have the Chrome extension. So you'll see when I'm in Google Docs that I do get the WordTune rewrite editor. So I can use that like I could use on the WordTune site itself, like I was showing before. So I can use that same thing. I can find things that I like. I can click on them to change them. Let's undo that. In addition, I can actually use spices on Google Docs. So if I click over here on the sidebar and I click add spice, you'll see that I have these options here. So say that I want to emphasize this point the way that this will work is it'll show me a couple suggestions that I can go through and I can choose to just copy it like that and paste it or I can click on it and that would add it right there. So again, that's available as long as you have the Google Chrome extension installed already. Now back to more features available just in the WordTune editor. Here I pasted in something that I was writing. It's not perfect. And now you'll see some things that are highlighted. If I open up these editor notes, it gives me some suggestions. So instead of WordTune is an incredible, it's telling me maybe I should enhance my vocabulary, improve my clarity here. Instead of saying can help you improve, I can just write can improve so I could make my writing more concise. I already told you that I struggle with concision. So all of that you'll see over here on the sidebar, you know, that will help you with some more basic vocabulary enhancements, spelling errors, grammar errors. If I accidentally put two spaces, for example, it's gonna pick it up in red because that was a punctuation mistake instead of an enhancement. If I make a typo, it's going to also pick it up in red as a spelling error so you can fix those simple things. Now I'll tell you, that's not the thing that excites me the most about WordTune. You've seen me talk about Grammarly before. I use Grammarly alongside WordTune, honestly. I use them both in different ways. So if you're looking for one tool, WordTune does definitely do some of those things that Grammarly does. It doesn't give you as enhanced of the grammar suggestions. They both have their specialties. Grammarly really enhances the writing that you've done and catches those embarrassing grammar mistakes really super well. But it doesn't do some of these things that WordTune does. So I use the two alongside one another. What I wanna stress again that I love so much about WordTune is it really does feel like my writing companion. And as an educator, it gives those options. It forces you or your students to really think about what you're trying to highlight. It doesn't just replace the text for you. It's like you have a tutor sitting by your side who is helping you think of how you might rewrite this, how you might say this in different words, vocabulary that you might change, ways to restructure the sentence. I really see it as my writing 
thought partner. It's not about taking something that you've written and spitting out a rewrite. Instead, it really presents a variety of options for you to consider. And I usually mix and match what it suggests. I love that when you highlight a word, it's not just a traditional thesaurus, that it really offers these context-specific suggestions because thesauruses can be so frustrating to use. And again, I just think that it helps you learn and get better because it's kind of walking you through that thought process. It also really preserves my tone and how I write because of the way that I use it. And so that's really valuable. A lot of these AI tools that are coming out, you just lose yourself in it. And here I wouldn't. Now, the last thing that I wanna showcase is a translation feature that's actually in here. Will you write avec moi? So say that you're multilingual, you're thinking in different languages, or you have a student who is an English language learner. They want their ideas to just flow. And in that flow, maybe they're thinking in English and another language. And while they're writing, they don't have that word, but they don't want to stop to look it up right now. Well, this is where WordTune comes in again. So if you rewrite, it actually understands several different languages. So this is the translate and rewrite simultaneously feature. For free users, you can do it a sentence at a time or a word at a time. For premium subscribers, you can even translate full paragraphs. And all you do is you highlight the text and then it will translate it. And so here are the languages that are currently available and they are accepting language requests. So it seems like they're still building out on this feature. All right, so I hope that this walkthrough was helpful, gave you some ideas of what WordTune is and its full functionality. This editor, again, can be great as you're writing. The Spices features allows you to just get some ideas to continue writing. When you get stuck on a sentence, it's gonna spur you on to continue. Maybe it's not gonna push out exactly what you want, but it will give you some inspiration. Again, think of WordTune as your writing partner. It's going to just help bring the best writing you can do out of you, but it's really gonna come from your words and your thoughts. So that's the WordTune editor, and I showed WordTune in Twitter, but it's really available anywhere you are if you have the Chrome extension installed. So you'll see here that it's also in my Gmail. If I went to LinkedIn, it would be there, really any website that I'm gonna be typing on. I'm going to have the power features of WordTune now. Command D. And there are some rewrites there. Again, my favorite thing is that it highlights what it's changed and keeps in black whatever was my original text. And so it just makes it so easy for me to know how the suggestions are running and what things I might do to my sentences to make them better. All right, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough. If you have any questions, please do leave them in the comments. And I hope you find this tool as useful as I have. Bye.